Well, good evening, you guys. It's Rusty Glove Box here, and today, uh, after work, I'm going to make a little buzz coil for my engine. I've uh, kind of thought about it and figured it out, and I'm going to use just a regular ignition coil and a little uh, what I call a Bosch 5-pin relay and an old uh, ignition condenser. Let's take a look at it. Well, what I've got here is just a regular old Ford ignition coil. This is spark plug wire off the slant six, an extra wire that I had. Uh, I'm going to use the slant six spark plug, a few wiring terminals, and uh, this little Bosch five pin relay. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, wiring on this, and uh, we'll get this coil to fire. Uh, real rapid and uh, that way it'll be easy for us to uh, time it for our ignition. I'll bring you back in just a minute. Well what I wanted to show you here was how you wire up the little plug. Uh, here's my little pigtail and uh, I like this one because all of the little legs are different colors and what I ended up using all right, the red wire is uh, the number 30 pin on your relay and uh, your green wire is your number 86 wire on your relay and your 87A and your 86 your 87A is the orange and your 86 is the blue so when you plug it all together it's going to look something like this uh, the condenser, I have it tied in. I cut the end off and put this spade, kind of an insulated spade. I'm, I'm going to put a piece of shrink wrap on that, I think, to kind of help insulate it a little better. Uh, but next, I'll show you how I hook it up to the coil. Well, what we do on this coil, this is the battery side. So... Uh, I hook the condenser on here like that. I'll also hook the 87A and the uh, 85 on there. This is an old Ford coil and the condenser is an old Ford condenser. So uh, that condenser has that bracket kind of welded onto it. It's not just clamped. So it's a good sturdy connection. All this leaves me now is my green wire which is my uh, 86 wire. I take it and my black ground wire and put it on the uh, negative terminal. The only one that I don't use is the plain 87. put this old clamp on there what I'm going to do is use it to kind of hold the bottom of this relay so I don't have too many loose ends flopping around Alright, I already put my spark plug wire on there, and like I said earlier, that's something off the slant six, an extra one that I had. And to uh, start our test, I've got my old battery charger. I'm going to put my ground clamp on the spark plug base because the spark plug has to be grounded. 
I'm going to put the ground terminal on the uh, ground side of the coil. Fixing to plug the battery charger in. Well, what I did, I had a little micro switch, and that's what I plan on uh, using as my set of points. And uh, what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do off the engine, I'm going to put a lobe here on this shaft and I'll have that micro switch right in here and, and I'll be able to adjust it somehow. I hadn't really gave that much thought yet, but uh, I'll probably come off this bolt with a little bracket and there'll be a little cam lobe that I'll be able to adjust and uh, that way I'll be able to adjust my points. And with uh, see with that hooked up, nothing happens, and then I press press that little lever on the micro switch. That's a nice blue hot flame. But anyway, it looks like we've got the ignition system figured out on the on the engine, so that's another another thing kind of out of the way. Well, I hope you found that useful on how to make a buzz coil out of an old ignition coil and a five-pin relay and a condenser. Uh, it's pretty simple on the wiring, and I liked having that uh, relay with the different colored wires. It made it a little less confusing. Uh, I'm going to make a nice little box, I think, to house that, that uh, coil in and everything. Uh, and I feel like that's going to work pretty good on this air compressor engine. So anyway, this is Rusty Glove Box. Thanks for watching, and I'm out of here.